Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4. We are playing as Lubeck, and the world is at war. The uh, Religious League war rages on, but we are not involved in any way whatsoever. <sighs> we did survive a giant coalition last time. It did cost us a, a, a significant amount of troops and money, um, but we were actually able to come out ahead. Uh, we actually, I was just hoping for a white peace, or maybe at least giving up very little, but we were able to actually... Um, ask for money from Mayans over here. We didn't ask for any territory or anything like that because I don't think that was going to be all that helpful. Um, hmm. Money is always good. But we're actually, we're back to a place of not really hurting money-wise. I'm going to take the prestige, which is not normally what I would do. Certainly it's still decaying. But... The better relations over time is still very handy for us, and the aggressive expansion impact reduction will be good. We're not going to re-elect our, our person yet. We don't have the Republican tradition banked to it. So we're going to get another bureaucratic candidate because we still have to spend admin power on our ideas. And other than that, oh, speaking of, uh, what is this? Reduced recruitment time. Well, we're going to power through this anyway. It's not like there's anything that we dramatically need, but it is all quite good. And, of course, that will help to bring down the cost of admin. Although, we do want Force March by the time next war starts. Uh, maybe we'll just get a whole bunch of free power points here. Thank you very much, game. And I don't suppose we can... When can we change this focus? Five years. And we're going to finish this annexation in three. Fine, groovy. Oh, yeah, I was going to do this last time. So, right now, we're earning 73 ducats from trade. If I take this, split... Uh, we're going to cancel you. We're going to split you in half. How come I can't... Oh, it's because you have to finish your movement. Split you in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you protect trade in the North Sea. And I'm going to have you protect trade in the Baltic Sea. We're going to compare that. I suspect it'll go down. And there's probably some combination of stuff that'll get us where we want. <gasps> Galicia? What happened to Theodoro? Were you not doing crazy good? Who's Chernigov? What's happening in this game? There's Galicia. Would like to join my trade lead. Yes, please. So that's going to throw off all my math. Because all of a sudden, we're going to have more... Well, no. Yeah, that's actually not going to make much of a difference at all. Okay, it's December the 1st. So, I think our trade income is basically unchanged. Alright, well, fair enough. I guess it's fine. So we have a little bit less trade power here, but we are pulling more into our node. And I think that's okay. Uh, we are we don't want to lose Republican tradition, so we'll gain the inflation and then pay it off. Uh, we can't do that right now. It is decreasing. We might not be stressed about it. Interesting to consider. Do, do, do. Thank you for the autosave. Uh, in terms of building buildings, specifically trade buildings, yeah, I don't know how well worthwhile this will be. So, what's our total actual trade power here? Is 800? Yeah, 818. So an extra, like, 1.6 is not huge and probably not worth spending the production on. I mean, I still want to build some stuff, but we'll see how it is. Uh, it might be, I don't know, culture change. Do we want to change the Highlanders? Well, we're going to wait until after we integrate Scotland, and we're going to see how that goes. Probably we won't bother, especially since it's not a state. Since it's not a state, we're not going to get as much value from switching them over. Uh, manufacturers, I think we mostly looked at these. And that's potentially not bad. All right, I think I was like looking at the math at some point. It probably doesn't pay for it, but you know what? Let's just go for it. It's fine. Who cares? Done. Sorted. Oh, we have a ton of spy power against England. Before we get caught, we want to go and spend that. Fabricating claims on like all the things. Do we even have to wait a day in between? Apparently not. I mean, there's some that I would prefer having claims on than others, but it's fine. Uh, Ulster, sure, yeah. No, 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 no. Boom, done. Okay. Now we do have a we do have a truce with them. Fifty until eighty-eight. Yeah, there's three years at this point. Wow, we've gone six years from the last one. I guess we did run quite quickly at the end of the last video. We're on speed four for a while. We're on speed three right now. Friesland joins the Republic. Uh, unfortunately, the Republic's not doing too well. Because they are in two wars right now, both against France and Burgundy. So that's not too good. Oh, excellent. Lovely. You've become self-sustaining. Um, so actually, now we only have one colony. And our colonist is idle. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is send them right over here. And I'm going to send a pair of dudes over into this province. 
It's not a particularly valuable one, but it gives us more control over the Gulf of St. Lawrence, which is what we want. And we do have a guy here who is helping to suck the trade towards the North Sea. We're the only merchant, uh, the only country that's got a merchant that's pulling trade. So anyone who's got something that says pulling trade forward will all pull it towards the North Sea at this time. Value of this node is not that great right now, but it will continue to grow over time. And most of what we're trying to do is position ourselves to make a run at uh, Newfoundland later on. When, um, actually, I would prefer, once my once my colonist gets here and, and sets up a colony, I might recall him and actually send him to Stadcona, because I would really like, I think, to put a fort right here. Papal States declares war on Venice. There's been a lot of shakeup. Venice is, uh was going pretty strong for a long time, isn't going so strong anymore. Byzantium actually took some territory back from Venice over here. Somehow is still alive, allied to Hungary and Savoy. I guess the Ottomans are not... Yeah, the Ottomans haven't really blobbed out. They actually... It's just me or the Ottoman borders look a lot like at the start of the game. I mean, minus, you know, a few of their core stuff over here and maybe a little bit of move over here, but not really. I'm going to start repaying these loans. Mm -hmm. Making 40 gold! per month right now, net, net, and almost a hundred per month uh, gross. So if we go and compare that, income, yeah, Spain hasn't really moved. If anything, they may have dropped slightly. They are in a war, but this is, this again, this is gross income. So their expenses have probably gone up considerably. Their inflation is also quite high. Nice, good for me. So yeah, my income keeps going up and right now my expenses are quite low. And that's despite the fact that I still have a couple of loans to pay back. Luckily, my interest payments are quite low. It does mean that, you know, this money here is earmarked uh, to pay the loans back. And paying the loans back early does not save you any interest or anything. And just make sure you don't forget to repay them. But I won't rush it. Newfoundland and the 13 colonies, it's a different um, colonial region over there. But Newfoundland is the one we're interested in because uh, a little bit of this is Gulf of St. Lawrence. We don't need 100% the Gulf of St. Lawrence. We just want a fair bit. These brigs can come home before I forget about them. They just had to bring people from, uh, oh, Lubeckian Subarctic Islands. Neat. Just our exclave name. Um, we just need to ferry these guys off of Greenland over onto the mainland over here, but now we won't need them anymore, so that's going to be okay. Yeah, this is all pretty low development. It's a little bit more valuable as we go a little further south here, but even then, not that much. <laughs> Lubeckian Lower... Oh, we got, got, a, got a name pop because this just went. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to recall this um, settler. And then I will send him over here. We'll still take him, yeah, 224 days to reach Stadkona. But once he gets there, he'll help this finish a little faster. I mean, Stadkona was getting there anyway, but I would really like to accelerate that a wee bit. In fact, it's possible by the time he gets here, it would have been done anyway. Just realize that's a really long time. So what does this say? This Lubeckian... Northumbria, nice. Lubeckian Highlands, love it. Absolutely love it. Scotland, how do you come along? 85%, good stuff. So yeah, we still have definite plans. Look at look how stripey everything is over here. Just ridiculously. So much. Hungary, what are you in? You're, you're in the uh, League War? Yeah, the Protestant League. Ooh! So it looks like the Protestants are going to be winning that League War. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which is the side we would have joined in on. But we need to know where France is going to be, and they weren't present until we got too busy. So, that's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, I want to check the trade. Yeah, still okay. I don't think I want to become a defender of the faith. I don't think that's required for me right now. I'm happy with the way things are. And we're still at our actual army force limit, so I'm not going to do that. We can build an extra ship. Excellent. You. Light ship. Always light ship. And yeah, most likely we will be grabbing, I think, maritime ideas next. I think that'll be really good for us. Specifically this one here, 50% greater naval force limit. That's going to be huge. The cheaper ships won't be bad either. Blockade efficiency is nice, but not required. I like the uh, ships can repair in coastal zone. Although, don't we have that already because of something we passed? Or I might be thinking of something about England game. Uh, I don't have a claim on Ayrshire. That's okay. I don't want a CB against Scotland. They'll actually like me slightly more now. Not that it matters. So two years away from annexing them. I don't remember, is that that's the same time as the truces expire, right? Basically, yeah. Now, I don't know if we'll feel comfortable going after them yet because of aggressive expansion and different things. I have no idea. Repay the loan. Repay the loan. 
Uh, going after Sweden would still be nice for some stuff in the uh, the North Sea here. That would be quite excellent. And certainly Sweden is quite busy right now. I mean, we could theoretically, you know, declare war right now while they're in this war. I mean, they're winning it, but it still means their troops are out of the way. It still means they probably have some loans and some manpower. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, God, I'm dying. <coughs> Excuse me. A manpower loss. <coughs> uh, we have to do something. But, hmm. I mean, it would be territory. We wouldn't state that stuff, so it may or may not be useful for us. Here's something else. How are the states and territories down here? Would we want these two? Eight, six, no, not really. It's got the same problem as Danzig. Like, you know, um, religious story. Skonin and Danzig are great provinces. But we might be forced to break that state if we take more territory in that state just because of things. I mean, we haven't taken territory in a while, despite what the coalitioners say. We did take Hamburg, which I don't regret. Uh, natives in Stadkona, that's fine. And of course we won that. Was there ever any doubt? Are we next to any natives over here? Mm, yeah, actually over here. We can't see into them, which means we can't even declare war on them because we're not aware of who they are, which is too bad. Because if we could declare war on them, we could enter into their territory. But that's okay. It would be a way to expand, but I don't even know. Oh, it is more Gulf of uh, St. Lawrence. Actually, apparently Gulf of St. Lawrence goes all... No, that's Hudson Bay. So what, they're both yellow? That's not confusing at all. I bet you, actually, it looks like there's the, here's the cut, if I'm reading that right. Which I might not be. Yeah, it looks like the same yellow to me. That's more than a little bit annoying. Alright, whatever. Got that. You did reach there. That'll go pretty fast. Boom! Excellent. And we're just going to send you here. And we don't need any troops there anymore. And I will, very happily... Uh, I can't build a level 2 right away. I think I'll wait and just... Or, sorry, the level 4. Whatever. The second one. Uh, randomly lose manpower. That's nah, okay. Yeah, I'll just wait until I've got enough cash. Which is still coming in very, very well. And just build the level 4 right away. Now, obviously, at some point, that's going to be part of a colonial nation, but I'm okay with that. Oh! 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 Colonial nation! Right! Um, hmm, hold on. Hmm. Just go here. Once this finishes, I think we will get a colonial nation that pops. Which I think is okay. But I don't know. Do we have a spy? Yeah, we've got someone coming back now. We're going to fabricate some claims over Newfoundland. I think... Man's in Purge of Palantine Heresy. I think we've got... Yeah, we can declare war on them. England, obviously. Holland, Verdun. Wales. Interesting. And no one else would join on my side. But it is quite distant. Although, they might change their mind once the war starts. That can happen sometimes. So I don't really need claims. But... Oh, I can't fabricate on a subject. Really? Yeah, and it can't... No. Oh, interesting. Alright, uh... What, just grab Essex. And... Cumbria. There we go. Then we're out of points. Hmm. I mean, we don't have full manpower yet, and we don't have that much money banked, so we could probably be a little bit patient, and I do think I will definitely want a Bastion over there. I mean, I think we'll still have... Well, I could always declare war on England itself, and that'll bring me into the war against Newfoundland. It would just be nice to declare against these guys directly. Which might be something we can do. Or maybe we can't, actually, now that I think about it. I guess we can't. If we get a colonial nation over here, it can. But if we declare war, I mean, it's really against England. Because it'll pull in all of England's allies. Yeah. Which should be fine. But yeah, we're in no hurry. And maybe we want a colonial nation over here. Heck, if we're really lucky, they're going to be the ones that start the wars. Maybe not right now, because they're actually not that well established. I don't know. And we can build some more stuff, but no, get the money. If we just funnel a bunch of money to our, um, to our colony, then they can use that to build an army quite quickly. Not to mention a variety of different improvements. They'll get good advisors. They'll have the cash to ideally run some colonists. And settle. 
Where's, where are you going with that? Oh, you just put them on the boat and then land them again. What are you doing, Scotland? Scotland has been messed up, like, since the beginning. Probably because it's split. It'll be a lot better when, um, <laughs> Scotland is just part of my direct empire, I think. Because I don't think Scotland's done anything at all for us. And maybe we should have just eaten them a little bit more directly. Oh, that did give us a, a kind of a fun way to get this island of Orkney here uh, by doing a return core behavior, which is always quite nice to take advantage of. 98%. Well, we're in the right year, which is going to wait for June, which is also when our truces end. We get our new idea. I don't see any reason why not to grab. Oh, uh, we might want to just grab Force March. And actually, I will do that because it'll put us, it may put us back ahead of time, give us a production bonus as well. We don't need plus one Diplo rep. I mean, it would have been nice while we had still had Scotland. We're not going to have Scotland. We could still use the plus one Diplo rep to ally someone else, but I think we're okay. So no, I'll take, I'll just wait for the, uh, the Force March tech. Uh, we gain a claim on Rupin, or, oh, let's take this one where we get some local trade power. <laughs> Scotland. Scotland! I already own most of Scotland. Well, actually, I don't own the most populous bits. I own the, uh, the Highlands, which are not particularly numerous. There we go. There's our admin boost. Bam. Force March. We're ahead of time, which will give us a nice production bonus. Beautiful. And all this should be cored for us, at least as a territory core. Integration is a slow progress. Process. Okay, let's get these troops back in order. England claims, yada, yada, yada. How's my force limit? I should probably be over, in fact, by exactly the number that is the Scottish army. So I will simply go and disband them. Uh, Naval-wise, I'm exactly right. Oh, that's a surprise. And what do you have? You have a two transports and a heavy. I guess we'll keep you around. I could sell these things. I suppose it's a possibility. Why don't I sell my transports while I'm at peace and then build them when I'm at war? That could be a thing. Now, selling them is like we'd have to talk to someone and then sell them. And we don't really need the money, and then we'd have to wait for time for our troop transports to be built. I'm okay with just this. Lubeckian Britain. Lovely. Uh, you can be mothballed. Thank you. build buildings here. Could still build a fort here against England, but now, you know what? I think I'm okay with the number of forts we've got. Okay, all the truces just expired. That's the coalition stuff. Now, the coalition should not reform itself because the only person, I believe, that has enough aggressive expansion is England, and even then just barely so. Everyone else is too low. Yeah, they can't actually join the coalition. So England won't join it by itself because obviously that wouldn't make much sense. England, the AI is aware of how many people can join a coalition and would be willing to join a coalition. And um, it knows that that is not enough to make it work. So they simply won't do it. And even if they did, it doesn't matter because it'd be a coalition of one. So you've got a fair number of allies. They're not necessarily the most potent. I'm pretty sure we could just go to town on England. Now, do we want to right now? I don't know. I mean, it'll still generate a giant coalition. And we're still not quite capped on manpower, so I think we can probably afford to just be a little bit more patient and wait a little bit longer before we actually do that. I think I'm fine with it. And in fact, I may simply want to wait until we've got um, a colonial government over here. You know, it's kind of a mixed bag, but it's not its not the worst. And at the very least, yeah, just having a bunch of money to throw at a bunch of mercs wouldn't be a terrible idea. So, who are you actually allied with? So, Verdun over here, that's great because day one we just go and step on them. Yeah, it would be a pretty easy war. The only question is, I, would I feel restricted in how much I take from England because of a race of expansion? Probably. Although that doesn't mean I couldn't take just a little bit of England, plus a bunch of money, and then just repeat every five years. Like, if you just take a little nibble, then um, you don't take much aggressive expansion, but there's also shorter truces. So you can just sort of keep uh, uh, repeating it. So as opposed to waiting long and taking a whole bunch, I could wait a little and take a little more than once in a row. And I think it'll work out to about the same. And especially if I'm taking stuff over here, the aggressive expansion won't be as bad. Part of the reason it's so bad over here in Hamburg is because, uh, A, it was a very powerful province. It ate an entire country as opposed to just nibble at a country. And it was very nearby a whole lot of other people within the HRE. And there's all these crazy modifiers. Um, Novgorod, that's fine. I mean, 15 trade and diplo power isn't much either, but... My Novgorod trade power isn't too important. Uh, we're going to go and get another bureaucrat candidate. That's going to be fine. And after that, we might re-elect them. Because we might have enough um, Republican tradition banked. What? 
is this. So, this is something Scotland was doing, apparently. They might have had exploration ideas, but I don't, so I'm just going to disband that guy. Ha! Huh. We also have a solo ship somewhere. Oh! Who's patrolling the North Sea. Oh, yeah, you should be merging with the other fleet, you will. That's probably a dude we bought. Actually, no, that was probably... That was probably a Scottish ship. But it should merge with my other fleet at some point. Because they're both patrolling the same node. Uh, do I want to mothball these? I don't know. I guess I could. We're not really in that much of a risk of war. Well, I say that as I'm contemplating the war against England. Hmm. Manpower is starting to accrue pretty fast. Why don't I go and get everyone over to England? I'll drop them off in Fife. Because I don't have my um, my military maintenance that high up right now. So I don't want to drop them right on the front lines. So we'll drop them off in Fife. I'll take a couple of trips. Love the automated behavior. I mean, it'd be nice if it used the docks, but still nice. Better than not having it at all. So you're building that. Decent growth. This Arctic, which slows things down. I'm still okay with the native suppression policy for now, for extra speed. After we get the colonial government up, I may change. I'm quite a big fan of this one here. I guess it will cost you something to change. But I do like the native assimilation for more production. It really doesn't matter that much in those provinces, though, because they're so crap. They have no development at all. But some of the more valuable ones, it's really nice to assimilate more natives. What's this Antilles? Oh, you're French. Wow. It, it's amazing to me that Spain, oh, who's getting its butt kicked finally. Spain, which has done so well for such a long time the game. Oh, wow, Netherlands growing bigger. Um, although they did, Netherlands did lose their war against France and presumably Burgundy as well. Still, Netherlands is still doing solid. Spain, who's been so strong all game, hasn't colonized the Caribbean. Hardly has anything in Brazil, really. It's surprising. What? I don't know. I mean, okay, Spanish Guinea over here. They don't have anything in the, um, the Cape. Here's a question. No, we can't. We could colonize down here. As a stepping stone to Africa, which wouldn't be bad. Well, does it matter? Ivory Coast flows out to where? I guess we'd like to compete against Seville. But that's not going to happen here. It's too well established. But, okay, I'm going to recall this diplomat, this uh, colonist again. And we are going to, I want a foothold both in Chesapeake, because we don't want it going, well, actually, going to the English Channel is fine. It's mostly the Caribbean, so uh, they've already got all the important centers of trade. All right, then what's got a nice high tax base? 10 ain't bad. Another 10 over there, so a couple of islands. I mean, I guess I can go into development map mode. That sounds way too easy. Let's take Puerto Rico. It'll give us a presence here for us to uh, park some ships, if nothing else. If literally the only purpose of this is to provide some supply range for our ships, uh, either at war or for trade, that would actually be incredibly handy. Incredibly handy. All right, I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can go up to speed four, I think. The rest of our troops should be getting ferried over there now. Right here, these guys, right? Uh, neither Reformed nor Catholic, we can... Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll give it that option, see what Sweden has to say about it this time. We've never taken that option yet. Okay, y'all are going to pre-park yourself off the coast of Dogger Bay. <laughs> mm. That's right, that stops me from doing the uh, instant hop on to the troops here in Stada. But, that might be a good case for... Just like 10 mercs. Sitting in Lundberg. It's not a particularly diverse army, but they've only got a 5k stack. Just take these guys out. There's still some other allies there. 
But that'll be a pretty good start to the war. They can siege slowly, but it'll work. All right, let's pump up the maintenance. Still not quite capped on manpower. Uh, all the loans are paid off. We're making a good amount of money. Well, we're making a little less now because we're over a force limit, but that's okay. Uh, we'll make our leader into a general. He's pretty crap, but he's got the siege bonus, which is actually going to be helpful down here. We will get these light ships preemptively parked off the coast. Stop people from getting home, and we'll get a blockade going on. Venice announces Byzantium as a rival. How often do you see that? <clears throat> we'll have to wait for a morale to go up. Oh, I guess these guys can... Protestant neighbors accept. I gain the 10 prestige. Because they said yes. Uh, gain a stability or gain prestige. We will take the stability. Go up to plus 3. I don't care about the... Oh, either way, we get the inflation reduction. Boop. And... Yeah, our forts are automatically going to rise when the war starts, regardless, so that's fine. I'm going to move down to... Where am I going to move down to? I guess Yorkshire. We might be able to make a run for their troops in London. I think there shouldn't be any forts blocking us. We'll probably need a few more mercs up here, though. For, in, in, like, infantry mercs. So, yes, we're above our force limit, but that's okay. That's what money is for. Mm -hmm. Right, I did... Oh, you've got a zero star leader. I'm like, what? Oh, no, it's there. All right, I couldn't see the star for some reason. Uh, We will wait until the very end of July, then we'll declare war. That way we'll get a morale tick on our way. But I'm pretty confident. No, now I can't see the star. Oh, what? Only if it's selected? Really? I can see the star there. Is it because he's so crap that he doesn't show up as a star on the map? <gasps> that might be it. All right, that's pretty good. I mean, I could declare war on someone un different, but I think the war declaration will be here. Can't do a colonial war. Yeah, this is fine. How bad could it be? Although, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put a cut in this video right now. Oh, cliffhanger! Next episode, I believe we will start a war against England with the intention of taking a whole big chunk of them. We don't have a whole lot of admin power, but we're only paying half price for coring this stuff because they're going to be territorial cores, so that's not too bad. And, I mean, the war is going to you know, take a little bit, and we're only nine points per month, so I think we're going to be golden there. Not too worried about it at all, at all, at all. Good fleet here. I mean, actually, not the greatest. I should, I should get the other light ships over here. It's not bad. Look, we have three heavies, but yeah, it's not that good, actually. Hang on. I'm going to move you there, and you're going to come here. There we go. That'll be better. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.